morning, everyone. Here's what's coming up on Kaleidoscope. We're going to tell you how to get a hold of a Frosh DVD. They're selling like hotcakes. Kaleidoscope is next. IHS TV, Channel 11. And now, Barry Harris, Laura Boyd, and the K-Scope News Team. This is Kaleidoscope News, this morning. Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, February 24th. I'm Laura Boyd. And I'm Barry Harris. It's a pleasure to have you with us this morning. We're going to start off with a look at the weather. Hi, this is Steph with the weather. Today will be sunny with a high 36. Tonight's low will be 24. The current temperature is 23 degrees and humidity is at 44%. And the barometric pressure is at 30.36 and steady. And now are the birthdays. This is Eddie with today's birthdays. The birthdays for today are Brooke McGuire, Rob Havens, Kelsey Allen, Pat Riley, Rachel Mayer, Amanda Morris, Daniel Radcliffe, Anthony Vadima, and Mr. Cullen. Happy birthday and now over to today's headline. This is Jess with today's headline. After more than 2,000 people complained, Ticketmaster agreed yesterday to reimburse Bruce Springsteen fans for directing them to a ticket website that sold concert tickets at a substantially higher price. Now back to the news desk. Attention all seniors, it's time to send in your pictures so that they will be in the senior video. Please send the pictures to this email address, ihseniorvideo at yahoo.com. Get those pictures in as soon as possible to ensure that they are in the video. College-bound juniors and their parents are invited to attend a college information night on February 26th at 7 p.m. in the high school auditorium. Representatives from Delaware County Community College, Penn State Brandywine, and Widener will be there to discuss the admission process and how it applies to their schools. Now for the sports. Good morning, this is Jim with today's sports. Congratulations goes out to the following wrestlers who qualified for regionals next Saturday. Vince Knowles placed third, T.J. Harper placed third, Wayne Armstrong placed second, and G Dave Gillen placed fifth. To all cheerleaders planning to attend the get-together on Friday, please turn in $10 to Miss Nowry or Miss Lawrence by tomorrow. Attention to all the girls planning on playing softball this season. Tryouts are starting soon, so stay tuned. The Sixers lost to the Nets last night, 98-96. They play, again, they play again Wednesday against the Wizards. Away. The Flyers play tonight against the Capitals. The puck drops at 7. That's it for sports, now we're to the news desk. The dodgeball tournament on Friday was an astounding success. The money raised went to the SPCA. A special thanks goes out to all the teams who participated and all the spectators who came out to watch. The Bucketitos are looking to become active again. They are now seeking club officers. If you are interested, please see Mr. Stabilo. Underclassmen are strongly encouraged to get involved. The Digital Media Club is helping you preserve your Frosh memories with a commemorative DVD for only $4. To purchase a DVD, you can see Mr. Nunnally in room 202. The Physics Olympics was held at Pencrest on Saturday. Interboro was well represented and we took home fifth place. It is the best we have ever done. A special thanks to all who came out to cheer us on. We now turn our attention to the many item of the day. Hi, this is Nick with the menu. Today we'll have seasoned chili over rice with seasoned corn and fruited jello. And tomorrow we'll have golden macaroni and cheese, stewed tomatoes, a 100% juice cup. And now over to the vocab word. Hello, neighbor. This is Colin with the vocab word of the day. Today's vocab word is obscure, meaning unclear or partially hidden. For example, because he was standing in the shadows, his features were obscure. Now over to the quote of the day. This is Kim with the quote of the day. H.G. E. Lucas once said, no one can whistle a symphony. It takes a whole orchestra to play it. Now over to This Day in History. This is Chris with This Day in History. On this date, February 24, 1868, the U.S. House of Representatives impeached Andrew Johnson due to his attempt to dismiss Secretary of War. In 1942, the U.S. government stopped shipments of 12-gauge shotguns for sporting use for the wartime effort. Now over to trivia. This is Brooke with the trivia. Did you know that an ostrich brain is smaller than its eye? Now over to entertainment. This is Chris with Entertainment. The city coming out this week is Wrath by Lamb of God. And now back to the news desk. So Barry, how'd you do in those physical Olympics? Uh, I'm going to plead the fifth on that one. I choose not to elaborate on that. 
But I will say that it was a tremendous success. Everybody put in a great effort. Well, that's it, everyone. Thanks for watching Kaleidoscope. I'm Laura Boyd. And I'm Barry Harris. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you right here at the same time tomorrow.